Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of creating a blogger template from scratch and we have started with the design and once the design is completed, we will convert this to a blogger template. For now, we have completed the design of the desktop version and also the mobile version. And the last thing we need to design is the mobile nav menu. We currently have this uh, mobile menu icon over here. And now when we click on the icon, nothing happens because uh, we have not added the code for that yet. So in this video, we will add the mobile navigation menu so that when you click on this uh, menu icon, the mobile navigation menu will appear and there will also be a close button. And when you click on the close button, it will uh, hide. So this is what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, here I'm in the HTML of the website. So let's go over here and uh, just after the mobile menu icon, we'll create a division with a class of mobile menu container. So I'll type mobile menu container. And uh, in this we'll create a UL, which is an unordered list. And uh, in the unordered list, we need to have list items. And in that we'll have anchor tags because these are basically links. So whenever someone clicks on any of these anchor tags, they should be taken to a page from the website. For now, I'll just put hash over here in the href. When we convert this to a blogger template, we will replace this with the link of the page. So the first one is home. And we can already see that the UL is being displayed over here. We will hide that in the CSS. First of all, let's write the HTML. So I'll just copy this li and uh, paste it three more times. All right, for uh, the second one, we have about. For the third one, we have contact. And for the fourth one, we have privacy policy. All right, that's it with the menu items. Now let's also create a close button. So here I will create a division with the class of menu close icon. And uh, in that I'll have an image. So I already have an image exported, which is called close icon dot PNG. So we can see that both the items are displayed over here. Now the first thing we'll do is we will hide these two items. So let's go to the style.css. We need to hide it in the desktop version as well. So let's go outside the media query. So here in the hidden items, I'll add both of these items. So I'll just type comma mobile menu container and mobile close icon and the close icon is not being hidden or it's called menu close icon so it's not mobile menu close icon all right so now we have both the items hidden all right now let's style the mobile menu container for the mobile version so let's go inside the media query and uh, let's go to the bottom and here we'll create a comment we'll type mobile navigation so here we'll type top nav mobile menu container. We have already set the display of the mobile menu container to none. So we will set something other than none. So we'll set the display to flex. Now we can see that the mobile menu container is being displayed. Now we'll set the position of this menu container to fixed so that even if we scroll down or up, it will be at the same position. And I'll just set the background color to 222. And I'll also set the height to 100 viewport height. And we'll also set the Z index to high so that it will always be seen on the screen. And let's set the left position to zero and the right position to zero. So now we have the full width for uh, this menu container. And now we'll also set the top position to zero. So now the unordered list is visible. Let's position it to the center. So I'll just type align items to center and justify content to the center. All right, now let's style the unordered list. So we'll type top nav mobile menu container UL and we'll remove the bullets. So for that, we'll type list style to none. And we'll also set the text align to center. All right now let's have some spacing between these list items. So we'll type top nav mobile menu container ULLI and we'll set a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom and uh, zero for left and right. Now let's style the anchor tags. So we'll type top nav mobile menu container 
ULLIA and first of all we'll remove the underlines so we'll type text decoration to none and we'll set the color of the text to white and also set the font size to 20 pixels and that's it with the anchor tags all right now let's style the close icon so I'll type top nav menu close icon and I will set the display to flex and the close icon should be above all the other items so it should be even above the mobile menu container so we have to have a higher z index for that for the mobile menu container we had given a z index of 200 so for this we will give a z index of 300 and we can see that the close icon is being displayed over here we'll also set the cursor to pointer so that we have this cursor when we hover over it we'll also give some padding We'll give it a padding of 16 pixels and we'll give it a background color of black and also a border radius of 50% and we'll also give a margin of 4 pixels. Right now we need to hide and display this mobile menu container and this close icon. So for that we'll use the same method that we used for the search bar. We will add an active class to the mobile menu container division whenever we want to show it and then we'll remove the active class from it whenever we want to hide it so we'll add and remove the classes using javascript now in the style.css we will style the active state so let's type top nav mobile menu container dot active and make sure that you don't have any space between these two classes because the division will have both the classes applied to it or by default we'll set the opacity to zero for the mobile menu container and we'll also set the pointer events to none so that no one should accidentally click on any of the links and then we'll also set the top position to negative 100 percent so right now the position of the mobile menu container is at the top now when we click on the menu icon we want it to slide down from the top and let's also add a transition so that we'll have a smooth animation we'll set it to 500 milliseconds and uh, for the easing I will set it to a cubic bezier and I have already calculated some values so I just enter them here 0 0.03 0 0.95 0 0.11 and 1.09 now if you want to create your own cubic bezier value you can just go to the inspect tool and then search for the mobile menu container and then here you can see the cubic bezier I'm using the Google Chrome browser so just click on this icon and you will have this uh, visual representation of the cubic bezier you can just change any of these and you can see how the easing will look so you can change these values and once you're done with this you can just copy this value from here and add it to your transition so this is how you can change the cubic bezier right now let's style the active state so we will set the opacity to 1 and pointer events to auto and uh, also the top position to 0 now we have this close icon over here we don't want to display it when uh, the mobile menu container is not being displayed so when we have the active class for the mobile menu container we want to display this close button so for that let's go over here and we have an option in CSS where you can uh, select a sibling element so here if we go to the HTML we can see here's the mobile menu container and beside that we have this mobile close icon so both of these are sibling elements so for that we can use the plus symbol in CSS so here we'll type top nav mobile menu container dot active plus dot menu close icon so now what this does is that if we have this mobile menu container with the active class then this element which is the sibling element will have these styles so let's save this and now we can see that the close icon is not being displayed so let's go to the HTML and let's add the active class to the mobile menu container so here I'll just type active and save and we can see that the mobile menu container is being displayed and also the close button is being displayed now when we remove the active class both of them disappear alright that's it with the HTML and the CSS now the last thing we need to do is add and remove the classes when we click on the menu button and also the close button 
So we'll do that using JavaScript. Let's go to main.js and uh, let's reference some of the elements over here. First of all, we'll reference the mobile menu container. So we'll type const mobile menu container and we'll set it to document dot query selector dot mobile menu container and we also want to reference the close icon and the menu icon so we'll type const mobile menu icon and we'll set it to document dot query selector mobile menu icon and then we'll type const menu close icon and we'll set it to document dot query selector menu close icon so we have referenced all the necessary elements now we only need to add and remove the classes so let's add event listeners just as we did with the search icon so we'll type mobile menu icon dot add event listener and we'll set the event listener for the click event and we'll type a function and when we click on the mobile menu icon we want to add the active class to the mobile menu container so we'll type mobile menu container dot class list dot add active and I'll just copy this and paste it over here and here we will type menu close icon and for the menu close icon we want to remove the class so instead of add we'll type remove so that should do the job for us so let's test it out let's click on the menu icon and we can see that the mobile menu is being displayed let's click on the close icon and it disappears so that's it with the mobile navigation so we have finally completed the design of the desktop as well as the mobile version of our website now in the next section we will take a look at some of the basics of a blogger theme and how it is structured and then we'll convert our design to a blogger theme so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day